everyone welcome welcome back to my channel as you can see today in here i'm actually gonna do the currently ink of january 2024 and this is gonna be my first video of this channel for this year which i'm so excited about i recently got this one i actually got it today in the mail so i really wanted to film this i usually film this at the end of the month but this month in this year i decided to start filming them in the beginning of the month but before we start let me turn on a candle this is the candle of today you guys know that i have been using this for many videos this is the fresh fraser i got it out of target all my candles are usually from target i love tar target candles this smell amazing but anyways, if you don't know me, my name is V. I made so many videos about unboxing, a lot of stationery, a lot of planning, a lot of paper. Anything related with paper is what I do in this channel. But today, let me just tell you what I have in here. And I actually have something in here that you guys cannot see. Let me move it just a little bit more here. So what we are going to do is a currently ink. So if you haven't seen any of these videos before, I'm just going to be showing you which fountain pens I choose for this month. And I'm going to be choosing some of the inks. I have two different, like kind of like these steel boxes full of inks. Some of these with samples and some of these with big bottles. I have in here my Kakimori pen and I'm going to be using this one mainly to do the swatch. And the swatch, I'm going to be doing it this time in here this is my hobonishi 2024 original and this is so beautiful so i'm gonna be doing it into the daily section so today is the fourth so i'm gonna be doing it in here so uh, we're gonna do swatches and i'm gonna show you guys how the inks are this one in here is my ink planner or my ink journal and in here i basically just have all the inks that i have in those two boxes so i can choose from here which inks i want to use this month so i have many in here i don't know if 2024 i'm gonna get more maybe yes but depending on which kind of colors so this is this in here i have this big stack because this is some i don't have all my fountain pens in here there are some that are still in my office but i have most of my fountain pens in this big thing in here uh, if you guys don't follow me on instagram please go follow me i made so many stories because i did clean all of this by the end of 2023 i cleaned all my fountain pens so they are all clean and ready to use so i just have to pick up which ones i want to use so let's just try to decide which ones we want to use for January 2024. So actually, I do want to have some inks that are green, one brown, I want to have a red, and I have already the one for the black, and maybe a blue. So let's get this one to pair up with the new pen that we are going to be unboxing. That is this new one that is the same, the Kakuno, the Pilot Kakuno. So I'm going to be using this one in here then let's see which other one i kind of want to use a lami safari i think i'm gonna use this yellow lami safari in here and let's see how it goes these two then i'm gonna go really colorful for january so let's see which other one i will use um i think i wanna use the this one this one is really pretty and actually i bought one for next month that is coming in the mail but i got this one this one i don't know how to pronounce it but the name is this is eco taiwan and it's the twsbi i don't know if you guys can see it so i'm gonna be using that one and then which other one would i use for 2024 january i think i really like this one I kind of really like that one and I kind of really like this one I think I'm gonna go with those they are already six so there are so many let me try to decide a little bit farther so yeah I have this and in here I have these beautiful keychains in here so I know we have like so many different styles and crazy styles in here but let me see so these are the ones i am continue using this every single month and these ones in here is mainly for traveling i have these ones already like set up with some ink and these ones are basically just stuck into my travel backpack or my travel bag so i'm gonna keep using these ones each month 
again, there is other one that I use every single day, and it's this one. This one in here is the Sailor. I don't know exactly which Sailor one is, but it's one of the cheaper ones in Amazon. So I have this one, and this one just has some black ink. And this is the one that I use every single day to write in my journal. So I'm going to keep using that one. I want to use this one, this Pilot Kakuno also for writing in my journals it comes in here with some blank ink so let us open this up these in here are so cheap these ones and they were really nice this time i got the medium nib size instead of the small size to see how it writes so this one in here is let me just take this little sticker off and let's just put it in the journal right away so we can save it up right there because this day is a day for inks so let me just get you guys a little bit closer in there so uh, this one as we were opening up this one already comes with some black ink this one it comes with this beautiful yellow color i ordered this like early december and it just arrived so i love this and i don't know if you guys can see but in here i don't know if this is gonna let you guys see but in here there is a little face and it looks so cute so this is the medium size and i have already this other one in here i never took the sticker off because it kind of looks cool this one i want to fill it up with another color so as so of right now let's see let me just oh wow it makes some noise let me just fill up this it comes with this cartridge so let's put this away in here 2024 is already being so crazy as you can see in this video too it's like i'm all over the place so many things to do and i still feel that i'm on vacation mode so this come with the cartridges so i just have to put it on and hopefully we can get that ink flowing in there yeah it's already flowing so let's just put press a little bit of the ink so it already goes down flowing and then let's close it up so let me see how this one writes if it already come out So that's how that one writes down Pilot Kakuno Yellow Cup in the medium size. I actually like how this one writes. I'm going to be using this one, pair it up with this one for writing because I have so many journals and so many times I'm always lost of when my pen is. So I want to put one pen in the journal so I can use it for a long time. So these are all the ones that I have. Uh, I really like this one to use it so I think I'm gonna put black ink in here I don't think this one has a converter so if this doesn't have a converter I'm not gonna do it right now I think this yeah this doesn't have a converter so I'm not gonna do it right now but this is one that I'm gonna use this month I'm just gonna put black ink so I don't think you guys are really excited to see me filling this up with black ink but I'm gonna put black ink so I can use this ones this tree as black ink and i can use it to write in different journals then i decided that i'm gonna use this for in here this one i'm gonna fill it up with some blue ink this one with a brownish kind of one this one i really want a red ink and then this one with green ink so let's just pick up those inks in here so we have this in here let me just put this in here so you guys can see uh, i think i really wanna these ones are blank like i already have blank uh, let's see which one should i get kind of like a brownish i think i'm gonna do the kana show midnight that one looks really pretty so let's just find it up in here so this one in here the kana show midnight i'm gonna be using this one with this blue i think they are gonna pair really nice so i'm just gonna use that one then for this one i want to use a brown one so let's see which one i'm gonna do the australis oak okay this one in here is the australis oak this one looked really nice so i think i'm gonna use that one with this one then this black one i really want to use a red one so let's see which red one 
I really like this one, the Diamine 150th anniversary, the blood orange. So let's try to find that one. Right. It's kind of like a red but orangey at the same time. I think I kind of like that one. So let's use that one. So this one is going to be paired with the black one. And then this beautiful baby is going to have a green one because I love to write with green too. I think I'm going to go with this one, the Peter Moss this time. So that one is also in this little box in here. And then this one in here is the Peter Moss. So I'm going to use that one combined with this one. So let's do some swatches. I'm gonna do the swatches in the Hobonishi Avec, and then I'm gonna be inking up each of this one. So let me just put this in here so I know which one with which one. So let me try to do this. I'm gonna try to do the blood orange first. This one in here looks so nice, but I'm gonna fill it up with this one. This one in here doesn't have like a normal method. So this system in here, you move it from here. So let me try to see if I can get this coming up. I think that's gonna be more than enough for this month. It looks really nice. I wanna use a lot of ink, but that looks pretty nice. So let me just clean up this in here. That was really easy to fill up. There's a lot of ink in there. So let me just close this real quick. Let's do the swash and then we write it in here so let me just swatch this real quick in here so you guys can see the color it's really watery so it's gonna dry kind of weird into my journal but that's the one in there that looks really nice and i'm just gonna try out the pen so you guys can also see how this one writes this pen in here has the ef size so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna write the name of the pen so this in here and this one in here is the blood orange Ink. so that's really nice i really like how it writes it, it is really watery it didn't come out to the other side i really love I didn't write anything in here because the thing that i want to write about yesterday i didn't want it to show it in this video so i'm waiting until i finish this to go and write yesterday thing but i like how this doesn't pass through like i cannot see a lot of the ink coming out so i really like that but anyways this is the orange blood that is really nice. And this one in here is the Diamine 150th anniversary. So now let's go into this one. This is the Kana Show Midnight. And this one, we are gonna use it with this one. This one in here is a Jing Hao. And I love all the Jing Hao pens. They are just so aesthetic and pretty. So this one in here also has a EF size. And this one has like a normal converter in here. Like the ones that if you guys know about fountain pens, most of the pens that have a little converter comes with these ones. So that one is the one that we're gonna use. So for this one, I do not like to submit this into the ink, but so many people keep telling me in all the videos that I should do it in this way. So let me just try to do it. I think that will be enough. I just don't like because it gets so dirty in this area. And I really, really do not appreciate when it gets really dirty like that. Because I feel like I clean it many times and it takes a long time to clean it up. But let's do the swatch and then let's clean up that bottle. I feel like I'm going to get this ink all around. This one in here, let's just put it in here. This is the kind of show midnight. So it's kind of like a blue, but at the same time kind of looks like black kind of blue kind of thing in there at the same time. So that's really nice. 
let me close it because this one i feel like it's dangerous i don't know if you guys can see but look at my fingers they're already crazy that's what happens when i do ink so this one in here so pretty of course i love the color i love the pen i love the ink i chose for this pen i think they match really nice so this one in here is the jing hao And this one is the Kanasho. And I love the sound of fountain pens against the paper. This is so pretty. I'm so excited to be using these ones. I think I chose nice for this month. The next one in here is this one. This one is the Australis Oak. This one is supposed to be kind of like brownish kind of like brownish orangey and i'm gonna use it with this lamy safari this one in here is kind of like mango color i think that's what it's called and it's so pretty so this one in here i have another converter of those as i mentioned these are the ones that most of the phantom pens that i have have the first one is a piston one so this one is kind of different than this or piston i don't know how you pronounce it but this one in here has that converter so let's do it again like this I think that's enough for this one. Let me just clean it up in here. I get the whole fountain pen so dirty. And let me just close it in here so we can do the swash. So let me close this cup. Let's do this swatch for this one. This one is the Australia's Oak. So it's a brownish color. Oh, I love this one. This one looks so pretty. Looks so nice. I love this color. And let's see how this one writes with that color. Let's close this. We don't want a big accident. Let's see how this one looks in here. This one is the Lamy. Lamy Safari. And this one in here is the Australis. oak it looks really nice it's like not so dark like compared with the other browns that i own but it's still really pretty i love that one it looks really nice so let's close it in here and the last one that we are gonna do is this one this one is the peter moss and we're gonna do it with this other beautiful jing hao in here can we just appreciate the colors of this i absolutely love brown greens and blues and this blue and green is just perfection so this one in here when we open it it also has a converter so let's start by putting this up Now, let's do the swatch for this beautiful green. That looks really nice. I love this green. So this one is the Peter Moss, and this one is a Ferris wheel press ink. So let's just close this. Oh, let's just close this. And let's put it in here. This one is an Jing Hao. Oh, this guy is so nice. This one is a Jing Hao, and this is a EF. This is a green blue. And this one has the Peter Moss. So 
so these are the four inks that i'm gonna be using for january 2024 again just as a recap this is in here a jing hao pen this inside has the peter moss ink by ferris wheel then we have this one in here this is the lamy safari this is the mango color and inside this we have this brownish kind of color that is australis ink eh, that is a australis oak kind of color ink then we have this other beautiful jing hao in here this jing hao has some blue inside and this one is the kind of show midnight ink and then we have this one this one in here is the wasabi sabi i don't know how you pronounce that t w s b i and this is the eco one inside it has the blood orange ink that looks so pretty so these are the ones that i'm gonna use mainly in conjunction or in combination with these ones these ones are three of the four i don't have the other one in here because i have another pink pilot one but all of these are gonna have black ink and mainly because i use so many journals so for example this one will look so nice with this planner in here so i can put it in there so i'm gonna be keeping these ones in different journals so i always have a black ink with me and then these ones are my travel ones these ones already had some kind of color all of these ones are so pretty i absolutely love it and i found out that when traveling these ones are the ones that i really want to use because the ink doesn't run out and they are just super pretty so yeah these are all the inks i'm going to be using this month and these are all the fountain pens these ones are the travel fountain pens in here that i'm going to be using the whole year and then these ones are also the black ink that i'm going to be using mostly all year like around the house but these ones in here are the ones that i'm going to use only on january then i'm going to switch next month to another ones but yeah eh, thank you so much for watching i love fountain pens i love ink i love watching people using ink and fountain pens let me know what you think of this video and if you like it or not but happy new year this is the first a video of the year a little bit kind of clumsy in there but i hope you guys like it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video so bye bye